F500 encapsulator technology is the new chemistry in fire, vapor, and contamination control. Firefighters have come to rely on F500's quick knockdown power, its ability to instantly remove heat, and render Class B fuels inert. We have several written and video testimonials from firefighters who've told us about the incredible results and enhanced safety they've achieved with F500 in the field. F500 was tested on both Class A and Class B materials and is listed and registered as a CULUS wetting agent in the United States and Canada. F500 should be applied at 1% on Class A fires, 3% on Class B fires, and 6% on Class B polar solvents and metals fires. This presentation will introduce you to the properties of F500 that make it much more than a mere wetting agent and an integral tool currently in service with leading municipal and industrial fire departments in the United States, Canada, and around the world. In this first segment, we're introducing the cooling capabilities of F500. We're using a propane blowtorch to superheat this plate of steel up to the point where the paint reaches its auto-ignition temperature on the opposite side. A laser prometer is used to measure the increase and decrease in temperature, which tops out at about 1300 degrees. We apply F500 using a 2.5 gallon pressurized water fire extinguisher with a solution using one half pint of the F500 concentrate. Listen as the instructor reads out the rapid decrease in heat as the solution is applied to the surface. Six by one. The plate has been permanently cooled to the point where the trainer can now remove his glove and touch the surface on both sides. This permanent decrease in temperature removes the heat from potentially ignitable vapors and achieves much better results than those achieved using water alone or water with any other additive. F500 is listed as a CULUS wetting agent under NFPA 18 guidelines and as such was fire tested at underwriters laboratories on both Class A and Class B applications. F500 is much more than a mere wetting agent as displayed here where we will completely neutralize a gallon of gasoline. Our trainer has added one pint of F500 to one gallon of gasoline and mixed in about four gallons of water. The chemical or molecular reaction you're seeing here in the test pan shows the formation of what we call micelles. Micelles are chemical cocoons that form around clusters of hydrocarbon molecules creating a bond that will not separate. The process is referred to as micelle encapsulation and is proven using an LEL meter to detect levels of explosive vapor. Once we've proven the absence of any vapors, we can then take the exercise one step further and prove that we've completely neutralized the gasoline. To do that, we light three tires on fire and simply scoop up the now locked up gasoline to extinguish the tire fire, which reached temperatures in excess of 830 degrees. In effect, we're putting out fires with gasoline. The combination of rapid cooling below at auto ignition temperatures and micelle encapsulation provides a two-tiered margin of safety quite different from the single level of fire protection provided by foam blankets. Once again, F500 is much more than a mere wetting agent. Tire fires burn at extremely high temperatures, breaking down into liquefied hydrocarbons and toxic black smoke. F500 proportioned at 1% penetrates the tire surfaces, cooling the rubber and the steel core. This penetration and rapid cooling allows F500 to achieve results faster than water or conventional foams. This fully involved car fire was attacked using a single hand line with an adjustable 60 gallon per minute nozzle and matching a ductor set to proportion F500 at 1%. Two things become apparent. First is the incredible knockdown power and dense white vapor generated as the F500 solution attacks the fire. This provides proof positive of the rapid cooling and removal of toxic black smoke. Second is the fact that car fires often consume hundreds of gallons of water. Here we've achieved spectacular results in just a few short seconds and completely overhaul the car using only about 30 gallons of water with the F500 solution. These results are faster, much better for the environment, and safer for the responding fire crew. Magnesium components are very light and strong and can be found in the side door panels and steering columns of light trucks and automobiles or in aircraft brake cowlings such as we have here. Magnesium burns as a class D pyrophoric metal at extremely high temperatures in excess of 3000 degrees. So hot it'll in fact burn underwater and it's for this reason that water and water-based products are not usually recommended. 
F500 is a water-based product and as such might seem like an odd fit when attempted to fight these stubborn metals fires. It's F500's remarkable cooling capabilities that prevent the expected violent reactions making a successful result like this one possible. F500 is proportioned at 6% and applied at a low flow rate and low pressure. This gentle application allows the material to cool consistently, achieving extinguishment where the metal is cool to the touch. This heavily involved structure fire offered a tremendous opportunity to show the impressive stopping power of F500. The unique challenge presented here was the additional fuel load including tires, Class B fuel, and stockpiles of lumber loaded into the burning portion of the house. F500 was proportioned here at 1% using a 95 gallon per minute nozzle and 90 pounds of pressure. The trailer approaches the open door and fires a narrow pattern through the door and up to the top lock, immediately affecting an impressive knockdown. He then opens up the pattern and aggressively sweeps the stream in to extinguish the fire. Notice at the far right hand side of the structure, where there had been a great deal of black soot and unburned materials. The immediate conversion to light steam showing evidence of extinguishment. Without F500, a flashover might very well have occurred. The extinguishment was achieved in only 23 seconds, which is an impressive result using very little water and product. This dramatically reduces the resulting water damage, and it would be a great benefit to those municipalities with tight water supply to fight structure fires like this is an issue. Several of Canada's nuclear power generating stations have specified F500 to help combat the most severe three-dimensional fuel fires they face. At the Bruce Power Training Grounds, the fire crew utilized this J display to simulate conditions within their plant operations. This impressive display burns Exxon Tech flame and includes several large pieces of apparatus on the single platform. A pump seal on the opposite side of the unit pictured here is continuously running fuel into the hazard to make the challenge even more difficult than it appears on your screen. The trainer is using F500 proportioned at 3% through a 95 GPM nozzle and matched eductor at the pail. His initial attack is on the large steel superstructure which absorbs the heat continuously igniting the vapors. By cooling this structure, he affects an impressive knockdown and encapsulates the hydrocarbon fuel and vapors. Please also note the way that the F500 white residue sticks to the sides of the stack and tank structures, proving the product indeed cools on contact. It's interesting to see how there's no burn back where the product has been applied, even though flame may be in close proximity. Bruce Power evaluated seven water additive products in a test conducted in 2002 to select a product that best met their needs and exacting conditions. We're very pleased to say that F500 was selected for use and has been purchased as the product of choice ever since that test was completed. The final discipline is the upright tank, which is attacked using a top-down approach, continuing to cool and lock up the vapors, achieving complete extinguishment in well under seven and a half minutes. In this scenario, 1,000 gallons of a diesel gas mix was pumped into a 13,000 square foot pit. The trainer's challenge was further compounded by the presence of two large corrugated steel pipes and a series of gravel barriers where fuel and fuel vapors could be concealed. Two hand lines were used with 125 GPM nozzles and matching adductors. F500 was proportioned at 3%. The initial attack is made against the steel pipes to remove away the heat from any vapors at the surface. Immediately, we notice a dramatic knockdown. The attack is aggressive, sweeping the surface to lock up the vapors and render the site safe. Cooling, in the process of micelle encapsulation, disrupts the combustion process and results in complete extinguishment in just over two minutes. From Mississauga, Ontario, and we're uh, here to look at the product and we're real impressed with the quick knockdown and how quickly it dissipates the heat. Uh, you got to have a lot of faith in this product to take on a thousand gallons of flammable liquid with two hand lights. Uh, it's a complete faith in the product. And obviously it worked. Had knocked down, what, two minutes? Right. Um, I'm impressed. Um, our assistant deputy and myself will be going home and giving a report to our chief, and we'll see what we can do to get some of this product on our trucks. F500 has been tested and the ingredients listed for use in fire suppression by several environmental protection agencies and federal governments, including those in Australia, Canada, throughout Europe and the United States. F500 encapsulator technology delivers firefighting power to the seat of the fire, fast. F500 cools on contact and renders flammable vapors inert. 
Because F500 works on several different levels simultaneously, we can achieve results far greater than attacks made with standard wetting agents, foam, or water alone. F500 is manufactured under strict and exacting ISO 9001 standards. This ensures you receive the same consistent quality product with every order placed to help achieve a predictable result in the field. Should you choose F500 as your product of choice, rest assured that you can rely on our consistent commitment to quality assurance and quality control.